What's up, guys? Malik here, and today we're back in action for another ARC update, and I'm joined by that German guy. What's up, man? Hey, what's going? So, uh, I guess this is the brand new update. They've added uh, four new creatures, a bunch of tech stuff. Uh, let's go and check it all out, man. Yeah. So, I guess the first thing up is this guy right here. It is the, uh, I think they described it as the marsupial lion, kind of. It's the mm -hmm. thylacolio. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Yep. Uh, but this dude's special right. ability is uh you want to go ahead and demonstrate for us yeah he can climb up walls vertical structures so yep. basically you don't really have to do anything you just jump at a structure and he automatically does it yep. uh and he holds on and you can also turn left or right and he'll kind of like switch around yep. i think right click let let's go at least it does in my yep. case right click let's go so you can try uh, uh climb up pretty much walls you know structures trees Red whatever ones, yeah. and mm -hmm. yeah and you can actually i think i read too if you pounce off of it it like stuns or something yeah yeah if you if you're up and you do a like a pounce jump it stuns knocks over the creature yeah which is pretty cool uh actually as far as like you know like creatures like this is concerned i think this is probably my favorite this guy looks really really sick actually he looks really really cool I, I think he, he's also pretty big too. If you look yeah. at the, like just the size of them, they're just they're pretty massive. Yep. And see, has a um, nice like spittle roar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, if you want to tame this dude, he requires Titan Bow Kibble. So, yep. yeah. Um, so n I guess pretty easy. I guess. Um, well, not really. I, next... You can't tame Titan Bows, so getting Kibble. Is... Well, yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next best thing out... is uh, cooked lamb. Yeah, cooked lamb is the next best thing. Uh, next up is the Micro Raptor here. These guys look pretty cool. They kind of look like the Archaeopteryxes to me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Uh, these these guys don't really have any special abilities. They do sit on your shoulder. Um, they're just voracious. They're like little tiny little tiny dogs that think they're bigger than what they are. They'll they'll attack anything. Yeah, pretty um, much. Kind of like... Their their only purpose is I would say like PVP, where if you want to pull people off their mounts, you send a bunch of them to attack, and they'll instead of attacking the mount, they attack the driver. And they make the driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 yeah. They, they ignore mounts and they straight up attack uh, the driver, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, these guys are tamed with Capro eggs. Yep. And then next best also, thing is rare flowers. Yeah, I, I, we also read something that it's also rare flowers slash rare mushrooms, so yeah. you can use either of those. But they do prefer Capro, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and uh, check out their stats or whatever on these guys. Um, I guess for the third creature here is we have the Electrophorus. Yep. Uh, so these guys are kind of like the answer to underwater taming. You know, right now we only have crossbows. So I guess the point of these is you're supposed to tame a bunch of them, and they're they're meant to take down large, like, underwater creatures. Uh, yep. Solo, in groups, by the way. By the way, uh, Solo, they'll kind of, like, take down smaller creatures, but in a large group of them, they'll take down, you know, like, the Pleasy, the Moza, and all that kind of stuff. The exactly, basil. yeah. Um, so yeah, they're pretty cool. They'll shock and stun people. And they're, they're apparently a passive aggressive team with yeah. biotoxin. Yeah, they're a passive team, but they have a crazy temperament, so they'll try to eat you or at least yeah, shock you. Yeah, pre pretty much. If you don't have a high torpor, apparently it's not even worth trying. They'll just knock you out constantly. Um, they do take biotoxin, so yep. they do take biotoxin. Um, let's see. And I guess the last one is the Ammonite here. Yeah, and the Ammonite's not tameable uh, without cheating. Mm-hmm. And it, um, I it's... did. Oh. I was gonna say I did summon in a bunch of these guys, but I guess they swim all the way down there. Oh yeah, they must have. Oh, this is pretty deep. I didn't realize this area is that I deep. I know. I know. This is here. I'll summon in a few of them right here. They're they're gonna like yeah. They like swim all the way down. Let me. Oh yeah, let me, yeah. Let, let me swim off. one. I don't know why they go down there. Uh, also, these guys, creatures will protect them. So if you yeah. try to kill them, everything's going to come around and try to murder you. Yeah, they release a new aggro splooge, and the that splooge you get from them lets you make the aggro trank darts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're uh, not really trank darts, but they're aggro darts. Yeah, see this There we go, splooge. I killed him. There you go. Yeah, it's ammonite bile. That's pretty much yeah. what it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, and it pretty much just looks like biotoxin or whatever. Or yeah, and see, oil, right now, Meaty's affected. Um, if you go into K-Mode, you can probably see it. You have, like, a green cloud around you. Okay, yeah, yeah I see yeah, that. And looks that like I have the uh, any, swamp aids. any creature in the area will attack you because of that. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and so you can do the same thing with these darts. Um, any creature 
as long as they're not classified as large or bigger, will be affected by this as well. So see how this dimorphs? Just all of a sudden just came over and started. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're all aggroed on me right now. Yep, yep. Um, so you definitely, if you're, you want to find a safe location, uh, I see, guess. They can't you... get through the force field. I know, I know. That's cool. Yeah. Like everything's um, like, ah, we're gonna kill you. And it's like, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, you can't. They're like, why I can't I get through wall? Why do you know what's happening? <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, look, there's a tricode the, there, too. Even the Parasaur's attacking you, dude. Yeah. I wonder if this takes energy whenever things attack it. Um, From my understanding, it just takes more element to run the bigger mm -hmm. you make the field. So you can actually hold E on here and set it to, like, a max. Oh, look, yeah, yeah, I just increased the size. Oh, it actually pushed everything back. Get yeah. out of here, Parasaur. Oh, and, oh, most of them got in. <laughs> Um, decrease shield radius, decrease the minimum radius. Uh, so is this as big as it can possibly go yeah, right here? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. That's actually not really that big, to be honest, but... No, you can connect a few, I guess. I... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so enemy tribes and stuff like that won't be able to come through here, right? Yep. Yeah, so yeah, just a nice... Dinosaurs can, so. This actually reminds me of... This is a random topic, but this reminds me of, like, the Atlantis, like, the in Stargate, like, the way they do force fields there. Mm-hmm. Like Stargate Atlantis, the force field is kind of like this. Anyways, uh, this is definitely a really cool piece of technology here. I think this is the only sort of like tech item that does something they added in this update, right? Besides, yeah. I, mean, I guess these shimmery walls here. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually pretty uh, cool too. When you place them, they actually have a, like an animation when you place them. It does like a tech ripple. Yeah, 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 it does. It looks really, really cool. Yeah, but here, these... I'm trying to, hmm? I'm trying to get things away from this door so the door will close. You have to be, yeah, you gotta move him. And then it should, yep, there it goes. There we go. Yeah, so I guess the next thing up is these uh, tech doors. There's small gates, large gates, there's doors, there's windows, there's trap doors. They have pretty much every every variation. Mm -hmm. And cool thing is if you approach a window, it goes away and then you can like shoot through it. And if you back up, the window pops back up again. Yeah, and it blocks. That's really cool. I like it. Yeah. Uh, we've been wanting like automatic opening doors for a long time now. And, yep. and now you got it. I yeah, I guess it takes advanced futuristic technology to make that happen. <laughs> yeah, no, no door openers on springs. Yeah. Um, yeah, so these guys are definitely really, really cool. I like them. I like the shimmery effect. also like that it doesn't, like, block you. It just, you automatically just run through it. You know, yeah, it doesn't, exactly. it's not like a second where it's a wall and, you know, a thing happens. And all the tech stuff just looks nice. I mean, the roof looks really yeah. cool. Like, uh, I like the way yeah, they I like finalized the out the tech. Yeah, I like the the honeycomb like interlocked pieces right here for the roof. I think that looks yeah. really nice. Yeah, it does. Oh, uh, I kind of wish they would have done more of the same type of material for, for a lot of the stuff or something. Yeah. Yeah, it it seems like they're all like different types of things. Yeah. A little bit. Um, can you change the color of these? You the paint lights? them. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can paint the light. I know you can paint the all the metal pieces. Yeah, I, I'm not. Well, I'm not sure on the light now. Well, we've had we've had the tech tier stuff in mods before. Actually, all the tech tier mods, me and Jeremy were talking about this. They actually all look different. Like all yeah, the pieces the only, look pretty the different. The only thing that looks right is the tops of the foundations and then the door frame. Everything else is completely different. Yeah, the walls, everything is different. And so it's I don't kind know of nice because I, I feel like they were way too busy, anyways. Yeah, yeah, these are more kind of like plain. Or yeah. more flat or whatever. So if you make like um, a huge, like let's say you make like a ten tall by like thirty long base, it doesn't just it isn't a continuing pattern that makes you dizzy. Yeah, so I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah, a little bit better. And um, then, but uh, I think all, that, all of these that... don't require too much element. Actually, the building pieces okay. are like one to five pieces of element. I mean that's still a lot considering you only get a hundred per like easy fight. Yeah. Um. But, I mean, it's not too bad. And then it's worth mentioning the barrier does take five minutes to power up if it's off. Yeah. So it's not something you can just flick a switch and be protected. So you kind of have to pay attention to that. Yeah, so if I deactivate this guy and then reactivate it, yeah, it says yep. barrier power up time, five minutes. Exactly. So I don't, that might actually be configurable maybe. Uh, maybe in the future uh, they don't yeah, make I it like that. It yeah. Um, but, yeah, dude, everything about the tech tier is pretty cool. I'm glad they added in the building pieces and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this uh, trike's I think my... still aggroed. <laughs> yeah. I Good think drive. my favorite new creature is this guy. Everything's going to hate you now. 
Oh look, he has the he has the juice on him. I know. I oh shot yeah, him. you oh, oh you shot him. Oh yeah. yeah, we didn't show the darts, did we? Yeah, no, that's what I was showing just now. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the darts are the same as the ammonites or whatever. So. Yep. You exactly. shoot stuff. They everything gets angry at them, and then they Fair run away crying dart. like a little baby. Uh, anyways, that's everything in the update, right? Yeah, that covers it. Well, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. Hopefully you enjoyed the update. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Check out both the channels down below, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, see you guys next time.